Okay guys, what's going on boys? No guys here, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna go through the meta tactics layout. Um, this is for the new one post patch. So we're in February time now. Um, there's gonna be some adjustments and you're also gonna see some future adjustments because we've changed some things uh, and I'll explain these in a second. So um, the balance tactic, for those here that, that don't know, um, I don't actually use the balance tactic because everyone says to me, hey Neil, what's your balance tactics? Well. My balance tactic is just the, the layout for chemistry purposes. You see, I've got a lot of players on my team. And what I'm trying to do is I need, I'm putting them in the best places, best positions to get the maximum chemistry. So I don't actually use this formation. But what happens is when the game starts, if your opponent kicks off first, you start with this formation. Now, you might want to change to any of these formations, but normally it takes about 10 minutes in game or so. Or you have to wait for the ball to go out of play, like I say, for a corner, a goal kick or a throw in. So it takes some time, but in that time, your opponent can also score a kickoff goal. So what I do is I just put every single person on comeback and offense. I put everyone on comeback and offense. I put the strike on false nine um, just to prevent, uh, to have a pack out in midfield. As you see, depending on what, you know, you might do a 4-3-3 here for chemistry. It doesn't matter. Put everyone on comeback and offense. As you can see, everyone's in the most defensive state. And you normally put one of the center mids or one of the CDMs on cut, uh, sorry, drop between defenders now. You might be thinking, why on earth am I doing that? It's just because when you go forward with the ball, when kickoff still exists, even, let's say for example your opponent kicks off first, but you win the ball. When you go forward, kickoff still exists. So if you lose the ball, I want a back five, a line of five so I don't get kickoff because kickoff only really ends when the ball goes out of play. It's very important you realize that you have to wait for ball to go out of play for a corner, throw in or whatever. Then the game resets to shape. That's why every single player is on stay back while attacking every single person. So that is the balance tactic. Then what happens is in game, I then change to one of the tactics. So I have four, I got a defensive formation. Um, I got a new one. This is the, the pro level formation that we're talking about. That's the attacking formation, a second attacking formation, and then the ultra attacking, okay? So the idea is if you're winning, you go down to ultra defensive. If you're um, losing, you go up to ultra attacking. So the idea is you systematic, well, I suppose I was going to say systematically, but I suppose you can say um, in numbers, you basically go up incrementally and you go down incrementally depending on the scoreline. So first of all, we're going to start with the 4-2-3-1. There's going to be a massive change. This will be coming out tomorrow, this video, um, on a 4-2-3-1. Um, balanced 50-45 long ball forward runs. Now, again, I'm going to... Exp Listen, if you want to know the tactics, just copy them. But if you want to take these to the next level, I'm going to explain to you what you can change for your play style. Because the tactics will give you eight tenths of a performance. If you want to make it 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, you have to adjust it to your play style. Some of you guys may play slow, may prefer a slow build up play. Some of you guys may par play fast and prefer fast build up play. So it's important you adapt this. Why not adapt it? Don't just copy it and say, oh, you know what? Because what's going to happen is you're going to copy and be like, oh, you know what? No, I've lost two games now. Let me go on YouTube, search some new tactics. Oh, new better tactics. And you're going to end up in the same boat again. So don't fall for that trap, guys. So that's what I've done. Uh, if you want to make it more attacking, you can use pressure on heavy touch. I don't, personally. Um, I leave it on balanced. If you could, if you want to, you can always use team press to aid you. The depth, feel free to increase this. But because this is our defensive formation, we've got rid of the 4-3-3. Because I think no one should be playing defensive anymore. Especially with the defensive, how Jokin has been defended. Hey, yeah, Jokin is... Uh, Assisted jockey has been changed and AI defending is still there. Um, but you can increase the depth. Feel free up to all the way up to 70. The widths, I would just say don't change too much. 55 or 45 max. Now, I personally use slow build up play forward runs, okay? But for most of you guys, I don't think you will like this. Because I like slow build up play because it allows me to have players come close and I can manually dictate the game with the L1 trigger. If you don't know what, what enough I'm talking about, just use long ball forward runs. The good thing is with chance creation, you can use balance, forward runs, or direct passing. I wouldn't really use possession, in all honesty. I doubt many of you guys are like that, and you kind of need two strikers. So that's why most of the formation have got two striker variations, because it's very important people are playing more defensive. We just increase the depth a little bit, the width, sorry, should I say, and the players in the box, because people are playing more now and more compact together. Driven past inside the box, they still work very, very well. Instructions, um, stay central, stay forward uh, for the striker. Always want to be in the middle. And then you have the cam. So normally I'd have, for example, Neymar here. And I'll have like a top tier striker. Or I have Martial here. The two wingers on balance. Both get, on, get into the box for a cross. The cam is on balance. You can always put conservative if you're finding that there's an issue with stamina for any of these players. And then a lamb 
Um, and the lamb and the ram, you can always put them a comeback and a fence to make this more defense if you want to. Lamb and the ram um, are going to come back and defend anyway, but you can have both your CDMs on cut passing lane, stay back while attacking cover center. Again, if you want to make it more attacking, you can put the most attacking player on balanced or you can put him on get forward. But if you do that, um, just bear in mind that you could concede defensively. Don't forget, this is your ultra defensive formation, so be smart about it. Think about it. Think to yourself, you know what? How good am I with defending? Am I strong with defending? Maybe it's not worth putting get forward on one of these players when you've got all these other attacking formations. Left back, right back, stay back while attacking. Conservative and overlap, the usual. You want them to, they are going to make a run, to make a run on the outside. But of course, you want them to be standing their ground um, most of the time. And you want to be consistent, committing too much with aggressive interceptions, the base and lane. Now, the 41212, I have a video on this on my channel. I've explained how this works, I think, a hundred times now. Um, in case you don't know, I've got a video on my channel. I'm not going to explain it now because it's just a quick tactics update. Um, but there's a video on it and I explained to you how it works and how the positions and how it how it goes ends up defending in a 4-4-2. Um, that video is on my channel. But just to skip through this, I'll explain to you what we've done. We've copied this. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, just copy these exact tactics. That's it. Um, you can use this on balance. I would recommend balance for most of you guys. But since some of you guys want to be more aggressive, you can use pressure touch, but do not use press off possession loss unless you're a rank one player or rank two. I seriously mean that um, because you're going to find yourself conceding more goals than lo than actually scoring. That's probably going to, you're going to find out. Long ball forward run 60 and 7. I've increased all my depths now to, to well, players in the box is 70% or 7. Um, and that is pretty much it. And uh, these are the instructions. So um, stay forward and stay central for the two strikers. You can put them on getting behind as well. Now, don't forget your ram. Oh, sorry, your your cam is going to play as like a ram or a right mid when you're defending. And then your left center mid is going to play as a left mid. So what you do here is you do cover wing. So you're saying, okay, you know what, Morales, when you're defending, you're going to cover the wing. And that means that if you leave these two players on cover central, then they will cover the center area. So if you want to defend in the 4-4-2, Neymar will go right mid, then Morales will go left mid, and these two will stay in the center. There's more information on that video, um, but just as, as a quick reminder, please refer to the video anyway. Um, you can leave him on balance. I put him on comeback and defense. I know the other guy, um, the Michael Fisher, I think, puts him on balance. Put him on comeback and defense, trust me, and put conservative on. Um, get into the box is important because when you go for the counter attacks, you can make the run from the right-hand side inwards. Um, both CDMs, uh, I would say uh, stay back while attacking, cover center for both of them. Mo make sure they are on cover center. Put the most offensive person, of course, on cut passing lanes. It's very, very important you put them on cover center. And Morales, you can't put him on, you can put him on get forward, but I understand it takes some time to come back. And don't put him on drop between and don't put him on stay back. Just leave him on balance. Ideally, as I mentioned, a high, high work rate here, but a high medium is completely fine. Make sure he is on cover wing. And then you can put him, get into the box for cross. Left back and right back, you can leave them on balance if you want to. But I just put them on conservative and overlap. This is the formation that attacks in a 4-1-2-1-2. And it defends in a 4-4-2, okay? So when you're defending, he goes here, he goes here, he goes here. And Diallo goes there and Lorente drops in like that. That is how you defend. When you attack, you attack in a 4-1-2-1-2. Hence why there's no 4-3-1-2. This is really becoming probably one of the top tier metas. Not one that I favor so much, but definitely very much there. Um, 352 is come back to where it is. I will not recommend any defensive style apart from pressure every touch again. Um, fast build up play and direct passing. I personally use long ball and forward runs, but you can use fast build up play and direct passing if you want to. With the same, uh, because it's quite a wide formation anyway, you're going to be using hug the sidelines anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Players in the box with it on seven again. Stay central, stay forward for both strikers and the camp. If you want to make it more defensive, you can put one of these players and come back in defense. That way when you're defending, you're defending a 5-3-1-1. But I'm quite comfortable, and I'm sure many of you guys are probably saying, no, you're not comfortable with, uh, with defending. Just put all these three players on stay forward. That way if your opponent has four backs overlapping, you put his formation on, you've got three players on stay forward the entire time, bam. 3v2 every single time. Um, I put conservative on there and put get into the box for cross. So we've got all these three players on stay forward, right? He comes back, he comes back, defends in uh, five or two CDMs. That's the most important thing. The two CDMs is really what makes this formation perfect because they're always in the right place at the right time. Cut passing lane, step up while attacking cover center as usual. Um, and basically for the right center back and left center back, I used to use 
um, step up, which I don't use. I, I didn't really recommend it to anyone, but I used to use overlap. Um, but what I found are people saying that these players, they're going too far too quickly when you win the ball back. So put these guys on stay back. Um, but people are saying when I win the ball back, you know, my left center back and right center back, they're flying too far too quickly. I'm not good at handling pressure. So that is the fix for that. Left mid, right mid. Come back in offense. Get in behind. If you want to, you can put them on stay wide and have get inside the box for a cross. Just copy this. If you want to use stay wide, you can. I use hug the sidelines myself manually. So there's literally no need to do that. Now, um, as we go over to the 442, I think now is the perfect time to plug my Patreon series. If you do want to get better at FIFA, you can, of course, join my Patreon series. I'm actually doing this. Um, don't forget, we have the Division 10 to the Elite Division series. Patreon.com forward slash Neil Guides. Link is down below in the description. And um, here it is. I don't know why it zoomed in into that screen. But as you can see here, um, all the videos as well, including the road from Division 10 to the Elite Division, just, just using basic gameplay. Link is down below in the description if you want to join people's school series. And if you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money. That is the Neil Guy's money back guarantee. Um, but that's becoming very, very popular for those that want to get better at the game. Um, anyway, going back anyway to this. So um, when we come to the 442, this is basically a 442 in the attacking state. With the reason we have constant pressure on it, um, this has not changed from last week at all. Um, because we have the 4-1-2-1-2, it defends in a 4-4-2 anyway, so why have two 4-4-2s? So this is basically my ultra-pressing tactic. If I'm losing 2-0, turn this on, and it's a bit of a cheat code, I'll be honest. It's kind of like, um, it's one of the few things that I would teach that's very, you know, I don't teach abusive mechanics, but it's one of the few things that I would say that's part of the game that everyone uses, so if you don't use it, you're very much, you know, you have the, the YouTubers that use, of course, um, Spoil scoops and stuff, but everyone uses constant pressure. Even my mate who doesn't play the game once every month uses constant pressure. So anyway, that's a tactic. You want to be as wide as possible, as high as possible. Long ball forward runs when you win the ball back. You still defend in the 4-4-2. That's why you got both of these guys on comeback and offense. So when you're defending, you defend in the 4-4-2, the best formation in the game for pressing. Strike on, stay central for both of them and stay forward. One centre mid on get forward and cover centre. The other one, you can leave him on still while attacking, but I leave him on get forward as well to make it more attacking. But feel free to put this on stay back while attacking. So when you so when you when you got the ball, these guys will go forward, bam, 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 bam. Or if you want, you can have this guy going forward as well. Then you got no midfield, but you're very, very attacking, very, very easy for getting the goals. And then when you're defending, you shift back to a 4-4-2, two, two banks of four, and the two strikers. Very, very useful. And then for the right back and left back, stay back, conservative and overlap. If you want to trigger them forward, if you want to, you can always use a deeper tactics. Attacking full backs. Now, I tried to get that done in under 10 minutes. That is really, really hard. As usual, I got a video for each one of these tactics that explain this in detail. So, in case you're wondering, if you're new, you're like, wondering, you know, what are you doing? You're going through this like Speedy Gonzalez. I got a video on this for every single video, for every single one of these formations, should I say, on my channel, I explain how they do work. This is a weekly tactics update. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, guys.